Hey everyone, it's Tom Crowds with another Rockstar Minute. And look, we're asked this question a lot. Will property prices ever go down? And we always talk about the fundamentals of this area, how we have this amazing population growth in Canada, largely driven by a huge immigration influx that benefits us all because the demand for housing, especially here in the GTA, is thriving because of that. But it is also causing problems. Because of that, the housing demand is so high, it's hard for people to buy starter homes. It's also driving up rents like crazy. So there's all these dy dynamics happening. And a lot of people that are new to the country or new to real estate, at least in the last 10 years. So if you're under like 35 years old, there's no way you remember any downturn in real estate. So some people come to us with the idea that real estate can never go down. So I want to explain a couple concepts on what we're seeing in real estate and then right now and why it might go down at some point. So first, on the starter home market, we're seeing tons of demand. So on the outskirts of the GTA, so as far east as Belleville, as far west or kind of towards, more towards the US as St. Catharines and Kitchener and Brantford, we are are actually seeing tons of activity because the property prices are out there are much less than the core of Toronto. So tons of activity. But in the core of Toronto, when you get over 1.4 million, so let's use Oakville, Ontario, as an example, closer to the core of Toronto, it's not exactly in the core, we are seeing a more balanced market. Like there's lots of inventory and some houses are selling, but not a lot, but there's no panic either. So it's not really a hot market right now by any means, but on the outskirts where the property prices are definitely lower, it is a hot market and we are seeing multiple offers and we are seeing rents right through Toronto go up like crazy. So for all these factors, people will think, well, property prices can never go down. Look what's happening. And there is a, a situation where property prices can go down. And that situation is if there's ever a financial crisis and the banks seize up access to credit, property prices will definitely go down even if the fundamentals of strong property, uh, strong population growth and good incomes exist. If there's no credit, property prices will come down. That happened in the States. In the States, it was an access to credit that was denied that had the property prices start coming down. So in this country, if the banks seize up lending because they are scared of something globally in the financial system, that will definitely make, in our opinion, property prices come down. That could last for six months, one year, three years, nobody knows. But you need to be prepared for that situation, even in a fundamentally great area like Ontario and the Golden Horseshoe, that can definitely happen. So it's a good time to get into real estate because we have all the fundamentals, but you can't be silly about it either because if there's a financial event, property prices can come down and you have to be prepared for it. So just some thoughts in real estate. Hopefully that gets you thinking. Until next time, your life, your terms.